Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review, or I should say figure comparison. I'll have you take a look at both versions of the Scarlet Witch. You get one from the MCU and from the comics. Both are made by Hasbro. Let's take a look at the packaging. So let's start off with the, the MCU version. The packaging is just the usual Marvel Legends packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and the accessories. And as you can see, it's missing the Build the Wings set. Well, it's because I already built the wings. And there she is. And she is from the TV show WandaVision on Disney+. Plus. Obviously, Scarlet Witch. And you get the Scarlet Witch logo. And she's part of the Build the Figure. Well, Build the Wing, Captain America's Wings. You get the warning choking hands or it's recommended for ages 4 plus. On the side, you get the uh, a lovely image of Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch. On the other side, same thing. On on the back, here's a bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video. And there's other other figures that I already collect in Build the Wings. And I already reviewed some of them. So anyway, that's about it for the Scarlet Witch MCU version. Now let's take a look at the comic book version. The comic version, well, it's just obviously a standard retro packaging. You can see the, the window exposing the figure and her accessories. You get a lovely artwork image of the Scarlet Witch, the West Coast Avengers. Scarlet Witch name here. Hasbro. 4 Plus and Warning Choking Hazard. And on the back... Here's a bio about the Scarlet Witch. Go ahead, pause the video. So that's about it for both packaging. Let's take out both each Scarlet Witch figures out of their package. Here are both variants of the Scarlet Witch out of their package. Fate head to head, nose to nose. So let's take out, let's take a look at each, any of them. I'm gonna go with the comic book version of the Scarlet Witch. Take a look at the head sculpt. I would say they, they did a really a not too bad of a job with her head sculpt. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. You like the 3D printing on her eyes. Same thing with her lips there. And you get like the Scarlet Witch crown on her. And her hair sculpt. Uh, not bad. Not too bad at all. Very, um... I don't know what to say, probably 80s style hair, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't know the hair, this, the style from the years, to be honest. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd say it's not too bad at all. Not too bad. Uh, take a look at her outfit. This is how she is in the comics, which later on, wearing her, um, um, in her, um, in the WandaVision TV show on uh, that Halloween special. Sort of a Halloween special. Yeah, it's, it's not not too bad. Not too bad at all with her outfit. You get her gloves with some wrinkles sculpting on. The hands are just like the Scarlet Witch type hands. And you get the cape here. And it is it is removable. You can actually like take pop her head off and and so or you can actually like, oh, I don't know, use the Scarlet Witch, the MCU version of the Scarlet Witch head, and then probably just have her like her Halloween outfit. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work with because she has a crown on her head. Uh, hopefully one third party can make a um, an alternate head sculpt for the um, for the figure so you can actually like display her with the um, this outfit on her. And take a look at the boots there. There's like a little paint smudge on her leg there. Because obviously the, the boots are painted in. The shoes are not too bad. Well, the floor free is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Nothing much. And on the bottom there's some two pickles in the bottom of her feet. And there's one serial number on her left foot. And those no legalese. Interesting. Very interesting. Nothing much there. Yep. Oh wait, there's a legalese on her on her thigh legs. So yeah, there they are. But 
overall for the uh, Scarlet Witch figure, I'd say it's, it's really, really great. The, the figure itself it looks really good. Looks really great. Even though it is a reissue to the uh, the three pack with Magneto and Quicksilver, but I don't have that. But it's a good thing I got her or the cheaper way. So there she is. There's the Scarlet Witch, the comic book version. Now let's look at the the MCU version. The likeness to Elizabeth Olsen. I'd say it's really a not too bad a likeness to her. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's, it looks exactly like her. And you get her crown. Her Scarlet Witch crown on her head there. The hair skull. I'd say it's not too bad. But I really wish it's not the floating type hair sculpt. I mean come on Hasbro. Give us another version. It was like something else besides a floating hair of the Scarlet Witch. But still really not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, the color I could see up looks really matched to it. Very orangey, reddish color. I, I should say with some black shades there. And take a look at her outfit. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, not too bad. I'm pretty sure the um it, it, I think it missing some paint apps on the um on her outfit to be honest. Oh, I don't know, maybe something something like right in the middle of her dress or something there. Uh you get her um long gloves on each side of her arms and you get the, uh, the Scarlet Witch hand posing. And you get the uh little the uh, little skirt thing here and take a look at her pants you can see some texturings and like the area the lines area i think it's missing some paint apps i have no idea why hasbro decided to miss some paint apps on the legs i'm pretty sure this figure is based on the concept art god i hate that uh take a look at the boots nothing much nothing much on the boots there and on the bottom, there's some two peckles in the bottom of her feet, and no legalese. Thank goodness, I'm pretty sure there's a serial number on her thighs, and there's a legalese on her cape. There, that's really good because I don't need to show that. But overall, for the figure itself, it's still really a good-looking figure. But I'm not. Sh but there's some missing paint apps and everything. So yeah, probably based on the concept art. But still, a really a not too bad figure. Articulation, the head does go fully rotate. Does have go up and down, side to side a little bit. The arms doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by her hair. But does go in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate. Wrist do rotation. The right hand does have the hinge side to side. While the left hand has the hinge up and down. And there's some chest rotation, forward and back, side to side. And uh, legs kick forward and back, in and out, not too high because it's hindered by her dress. Upper leg rotation, double joint and knees. And her ankles do go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. Very posable, well, standard female Marvel Legends articulation, but you can still give her some posabilities. Crazy posabilities. Like, have her lean back on all the way her back, just like that. Yikes. How did Elizabeth also did that in the, in the MCU, even though her, I'm not sure if her back was broken the entire time doing that thing. And moving on to the articulation of the Scarlet Witch. The head doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by the hair. The arms doesn't go fully rotate again, hindered by the cape. Does go in and out, bend at the elbows, rotate. Wrist do rotate and have the hinge side to side on both sides. Chest rotation, up and down, side to side. Legs kick forward and back, in and out, upper leg, 
double drawn in these. And angles, pivot four back, side to side. Yeah, same articulation as the MCU version. So there's there it is. And moving on to accessories. For the um the comic book version, she does come with a few quite of accessories. She does come with the uh the wrist. The, the wrist that wraps around her the effects that wrapped around her wrist there. You can actually do that. And also she does come with one of those um rings to you could put on the wrist or just put on her hands, whatever you want. Yeah. And also for the MCU version, she does come with those um wrist the same thing but clear pinkish color and this is more like dark well this is like the dark pink and this is the light pink but not only that for the mcu version she does come with the same exact interchangeable hands but clear but with the pinkish reddish color translucent hands that's that's really interesting we've never seen that for a scarlet witch figure so let's pop the hands off off camera, put the effects wrapped around their wrist. Do, 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 do. And here she is with the um, effects wrapped around her her um, her wrist there with the trans with the alternate hands. Yeah, I'll probably display her like that. And same thing goes with her comic book counterpart. Let's do the same. Let me do this off camera again. Do do do. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, no! I dropped it. Oh, well, I'll just... I'll pick it up after this review. No. Never... Oh. Oh, there she is in her, well, one effect. That's it. Yeah, because I actually dropped the other effect from her wrist. And I put on the big one because uh, the small one could, like, have enough, no space there. But it's still really a not too bad looking figure on her. So anyway, for the figures, uh, which uh, which one do I think is the best? Well, uh, to be fair, it is. Let's just say both of them are the best. Well, for the um the Marvel Legends MCU version, well, I really wish he's not based on the concept art. Could just wait until Hasbro just released the figure after the show begins to show like some accuracy or something. And I know there's gonna be like a two pack with her accurate outfit very soon with a two pack of Agatha. Or someone else if Hasbro can make an act of the Harkness figure. But anyway, for the figure itself, still really a, not too bad. I, I'll give her like an eight at an eight out of ten. And for the comic book version, well, I'm probably gonna give her a ten out of ten for me. So I would say the winner for this figure is actually the Scar the um the retro Carter version of the Scarlet Witch figure. Yeah. Or if you're a big fan of the Scarlet Witch figure, I do recommend getting both versions of the, Gar the Scarlet Witch, both the comics and the MCU version. Yeah, I would go with the Scar the um, 
the comic book version. Because, well, she's based on the comic book. So, there's nothing negative I could say about this figure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. These are the Marvel Legends, MCU, and comic book version of the Scarlet Witch figure comparisons. Both are made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.